So trust me when I say that this is going to be the best tiramisu recipe ever. Ooh, okay. That's what I was saying. Look, it's got white hair here and he has got black hair. Hmm, these guys are fake. You are fake news. Tiramisu is cheer me up. So let's cheer each other's up. Until it, it, you know, it, it does the sound. I love the smell of coffee. Oh, use eggs. Oh, yes. Don't be scared to use eggs. Look. I'm not scared. Egg. And we just spread it, spread it everywhere. In my opinion, it's a little bit runny. If I'm not wrong, I don't know this guy, I don't know what he is. We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. It's beautiful. Tiramisu cream. It's not beautiful. You're cheating. Today we are reacting to Vincenzo's plate, tiramisu. Look at this video. It has over 700,000 views. And is this really authentic tiramisu recipe like he says? Let's watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vincenzo's Play. First, the voice is too loud. Second, I don't like the sound. The sound, the microphone, they sounding wrong in the room. What's going on? Oh, today we are making an authentic tiramisu. Authentic tiramisu, look at that. Oh my God, we got Italian subtitles too. Mm. The tiramisu looks good, I have to say. Look, maybe it's not the best slice for, for presentation. You could have used a better slice, but what we care about is the flavor. Did you know tiramisu is the most popular Italian dessert? Hmm, I didn't know that. And it's also my favorite. Oh, well, I, I like it too. Well done, I like it too. We have something in common, Vincenzo. So trust me when I say that this is going to be the best tiramisu recipe ever. Ooh, okay. Oh wow, it's a big statement you're making. Okay. I also watched Gordon Ramsay tiramisu. He said it was the best, but I didn't believe him. So show us what you can do. Are you ready? Wait a second. Why he's got black hair here? And then you go here and he's got white hair. That's what I'm saying, look. He's got white hair here, and he has got black hair. Hmm, these guys are fake. You are fake news. In my opinion, tiramisu is one of the easiest desserts you can make for your family. Hmm. I do agree. The only thing is you have to wait overnight. Easiest, maybe not, but it is easy. The meaning of tiramisu is cheer me up. So, let's cheer each other up. Let's make together the best tiramisu you ever had in your life. The first ingredient... Oh my god, it says it again. Oh my god, we must have learned from Gordon Ramsay. ...to work on is the coffee, which we need to make espresso. Espresso, bravo. No express with X. Espresso. Good pronunciation, bravo. From scratch. So, um, I, you can use the Nespresso machine, you can use a coffee machine. I like to use the classic Italian percolator. Use the coffee that you like. That's very authentic, bravo. And what I recommend you is, guys, to put, see the coffee in there? I would recommend you to fill up up to the, up to the limit. Then you want to put this on. And you want a little bit of water to be in there, okay? There are so many ways of making uh, coffee and the percolator, and so lots of Italians have different opinions. I'm not going into this. Then I fill it up with coffee. Okay, and when I say fill it up, you do fill it up. Ooh, and then he puts a mountain in there. Then what we do is we put the lid on top. Make sure we make it very, very tight. And then we put it on the stove until it, it you know, it, it does the sound. I love the smell of coffee. Oh, you use this coffee machine, the smell in the house, it's gonna be so good. Ooh, that's very aggressive. Which means that the coffee is coming out. When the coffee is all up to here, the, the, the edge, it means it's ready. Yay! The coffee is now ready, and what we do is we put it in a, in a bowl, and we need the coffee to cool down. Cool down. Okay? We need the coffee 
to be placed in the fridge or you can make it a few hours before and you know and let it cool down because if you use the coffee pot you're kind of going to destroy the tiramisu. This guy explains everything. Okay, bravo, yeah, because if you use it when it's hot, the biscuit uh, will melt and will, you ruin the biscuit, so it needs to be cold. Bravo, bravo for the explanation. I like when people explain step by step and why you have to do it. Okay, the biscuit doesn't have to melt because the coffee is hot. You have to dip in the biscuit in the coffee. I normally dip the biscuit in the coffee for breakfast. And give the flavor to the biscuit. So what you can do, you can make the coffee a little bit earlier or what will we prepare the... You already said this. Oh my God, let's move forward. Use eggs. Oh yes. Don't be scared to use eggs. I'm not scared. Egg. Lots of people are worried about salmonella, but there is an important rule. When you make tiramisu with eggs, which is the way to do it, you need to buy the freshest eggs you can get. Very good advice, yes, always use fresh eggs. When you use the, the end mixer, you warm up the eggs, and by warming up the eggs, you kind of, you're not cooking them, but you bring them, the, you bring them to a temperature which is safe to eat, because you bring it to the temperature where you don't risk the salmonella anymore, but you do need to use good eggs. Free range, of course. Okay, what we do now, we separate the yolks and the whites. So, here it is. Oh, this guy speaks so slow. Oh. That's how you do it, you just break the egg. Here we have the yolks, which is on this side. Sorry, the white, and here. No, you're confusing me. What is it, egg or white? Oh, egg yolk or white? So I'm only doing, using two eggs because I'm making a small tiramisu. It's just for me and Suzanne, you know? Two eggs tiramisu? I never heard that before. Normally I make tiramisu five, six eggs, I make a large tray, but tiramisu for two? This is new to me, okay. Okay, let's see. Probably four people can eat this. If you want to make... Four people can eat this with two eggs. Hmm more bigger tiramisu, just double the portion of what I'm using right now. Mm, okay, I would say a minimum of five eggs when you make tiramisu. So you should have used maybe two and a half, three eggs for this to make it creamy. Maybe I'm wrong, let's see. Here I am using two, two tablespoons of white sugar. And I'm gonna put one with the white and one with the egg yolks. So I have to say, the Italian subtitles are pretty good. So YouTube is really good with subtitles. Bravo. And you know, if you put more sugar, don't worry about it. I mean, the more sugar, the better. We like sugar, yeah. What we do now, we need to whisk it. So you can use a hand mixer or you can do it by hand. So I always find it easier and better by using a mixer. And by using the mixer, it goes so fast, it warms up the egg and it's safer. And you want to mix it probably until the cream, the, the white becomes very, very creamy. You want a foam to be created. Hey, look how beautiful it is. So when you get the foam, you know you're doing the right thing. Look how beautiful and fluffy it is. I can't believe it. YouTube also tells you ronzio del mixer. So the, the, the hand mixer is making the sound. YouTube is doing a really good job with these subtitles. This is what you want. It is important that we get the white done very, very well. We want to create a nice foam. We want the white to become nice, fluffy. That is gonna be the base of our cream. And, and then here, yeah, we do the same thing. With what I've learned, now when I do the video, I normally do the white first because I don't want to do the egg, the egg yolk first because the egg yolk first will make the, I kind of stain the white a little bit. So I don't do it for a video reason, but that's a mistake. You should first do the egg yolk and make it creamy. And then you do the egg white just before you're about to use the egg white. Because if you keep the egg white on the side, especially if it's hot, if it's warm, what happens is the egg white, the foam will melt, the foam will become flat and it will also turn into liquid and that's not the right thing to do for tiramisu. So showing you 
this guy Vincenzo showing you this, it could be a mistake. It could be a mistake if you do it, because if the foam becomes flat and watery, the tiramisu is not gonna be good. Mm. And I believe Vincenzo made a mistake in this video by doing that. The egg yolks, uh, but the egg yolks, of course, is not gonna become foamy, um, but it will be, my God, it speaks so much. Come on, do it. Come on, how long does it take to do it? Some cream enough for us to make a tiramisu. He really wants to explain everything. Do you need to explain everything? That's a nice cream that you wanna get. This is how nice and creamy the egg should be. It's not enough, but you're only making this for two, so. This is a very important step because we have the creamy egg yolk, and then here we have the beautiful fluffy egg white. Without the fluffy egg white, we're not gonna be able to make tiramisu. So this is true, that's why you should do it after. Do the egg yolk first and then the egg white. But to be honest, two eggs, two egg whites, no, no, no. You do at least three eggs, but come on guys, make tiramisu, give it to your, the person next door, give it to your family members, use at least five eggs. It's a very important step. Now, we're using mascarpone, Italian mascarpone, which is originally um, from Mantova, the north part of Italy. This mascarpone now, we're gonna share, spread it, in, divide it in two, and we're gonna put half in the white and half in the yolk. I love mascarpone. I actually use mascarpone for pasta sauces as well. The mascarpone gives a beautiful, delicate, creamy touch to your pasta. Try it next time. I have a recipe where I make cherry tomatoes pasta and I use mascarpone. Oh. 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 So I'm gonna put half of this in the egg yolk and half of this in the egg white. This is something I only see the Vincenzo doing it, mm, because normally you put the entire mascarpone in the egg yolk, mix it, mix it, and then you add the egg white. But doing this is new to me. Mm. I'm going to start by mixing the white. Always do that, so we don't stain the white if we do the egg yolk first. See, he's thinking too much about the video. Vincenzo is thinking too much of the quality of the video. We don't want to stain the white with the egg yolk. So from now on, don't worry about the look. Only worry about the taste. So here is what I do. I'm gonna use a spatula. Don't work it too hard because otherwise it won't be as fluffy anymore. See? As you yes, very important. You can see the mascarpone is melted in a beautiful egg white. And this is how creamy you want this to be, okay? Done in no time. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the egg yolk. And yes, you want to be able to be a bit stronger. You have to mix a little bit harder because the egg yolk is not so runny. So what I like to do is now with the egg yolk is I like to use this as the middle part of the tiramisu. Now, if you don't like... Let me tell you, I've tried this recipe, I've made this before, and it's pretty good. So, you should trust him on that. <laughs> I like to use eggs, because you might be the person who says, you know, I don't want to use eggs. And I understand that, and I, I, I am with you. I have another recipe for you on my uh, YouTube channel, you can click up here. And it's basically made with ricotta and mascarpone. Oh yes, I've tried that. Mascarpone and ricotta and then he puts Nutella in the glass. Mmm, that's a good one. Not authentic, but good. It's not an authentic tiramisu, but it's pretty awesome and fast. It's so precise, he always wants to tell you when it's authentic, when it's not. But today I'm showing you the authentic tiramisu. So Is it authentic? Mmm, I'm not sure. A few techniques are different. So please follow this recipe step by step and then you can tell me if you want to use eggs or not. Trust me. You See, he hasn't used alcohol. Why? I'll tell you why he didn't. Because maybe his wife doesn't like it. Maybe because his uh, guests don't want the strong flavor of uh, uh, you know, the liquor, the marsala or whatever you use. To be honest, I don't really love the alcohol in my tiramisu. I really want to enjoy the flavors of coffee, the mascarpone. Sometimes the alcohol can take over. Like if you put amaretto, marsala or whatever, sometimes it's a bit too much. It's like when you add the chili, hot chili pepper in your pasta. Sometimes you don't need it, you know? So this is really personal, I believe. And I've been reading lots of books lately where they actually say that the original tiramisu didn't have alcohol. It didn't. So, is it wheat? 
or without. Who knows? Okay, the creams are done. Um, so I'm using a small Pyrex, put it there. And then we need to use Savoyardi biscuit, also known as Lady Fingers. Lady Fingers, Lady Fingers, we love you. The Savoyardi, if you can get the Savoyardi from Italy, please do it. So, yeah, the Italian Savoyardi are so much better. I've tried in Australia the uh, Lady Fingers from Australia. I believe in USA and other parts of the world you can get them too. But if you get the Italian Savoyardi, they are made just for the tiramisu. There are companies in Italy who just make Savoyardi biscuits just for the tiramisu. So you can't go wrong. See, these are the Italian Savoyardi. And they go sugar on one side and no sugar on this side. Important step, very important. What we're going to do now, we're going to dip them in the coffee for no more than three seconds. Three seconds, okay. Two seconds are enough, three seconds the most, and then we're gonna place them in these Pyrex. Where are you dipping them? Remember when I said the coffee needs to be cold? This is the moment that you need to remember to make sure the coffee is cold. Because when we're going to dip in the biscuit, we don't want the biscuit to melt because it's hot. We want the biscuit to absorb the coffee and get the flavor. Now we do three biscuits at a time for no more than three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, well done, well done. So, okay, so he gets the coffee out. And when we place it inside, make sure that you don't have a gap in between. You want the biscuits to be squashed one next to each other. Very important, very important, because you don't want the cream to, to go underneath. And the other thing is, don't forget, the sugar goes at the bottom. So the sugar fades down because that's the harder part. So that's the part where you want the coffee to go and melt. One, two, three. I like to put the sugar part at the bottom. See, so it fades the bottom. And now we need two. He knew, he knows, he knows. Two more. One, two, three. And I'm gonna put them here. No gaps, no gaps. Now it's time for us to put the cream. So the first cream I like to put in is the beautiful egg yolk cream. See the darker one. And what we do is just spread it like this. See, lots of people don't do that. Lots of people mix the egg yolk cream with the white cream together and you do two layers. That's what most of people do. Probably that's the most authentic one. This is probably a Vincenzo's play touch. So I won't call it this authentic because lots of people don't do that. Is it good? Yes, I've tried it, it's good. But the most authentic version of tiramisu, you mix the egg yolk cream, the white, mix it together, you get the cream, and you use the same cream for the middle part and the top layer. And we just spread it, spread it everywhere. In my opinion, it's a little bit runny. If I'm not wrong, I don't know this guy, I don't know where he is. We'll be asking the questions, old man. Who are you? You. But let me tell you, if I'm not wrong, I think it was a bit warm in there. Maybe he had the underfloor eating. Maybe he's got underfloor eating there on. And maybe he waited too long because doing videos is not easy. But that cream, it's a bit too runny. Mm. He can do better than that. A bit too runny. And if I'm not wrong, I watched one of his recent videos where he made a, 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 a tiramisu. Vincenzo made a new tiramisu video not long ago and the cream was very creamy, so maybe we should follow the recipe. This is the one. This is the king of all desserts. Let's make it together. Looks creamy already, looks creamy. Huh? Hey, look how creamy, so much creamy, look, look at that. Beautiful thick cream. Ah, this is what we want for a tiramisu. Look how wonderful. Look how wonderful this is. That's what we want. That's a new recipe. That's what we need to follow. This other one is too much, too, too runny. I don't want that. Now, if you don't want to do this, you can also mix the egg yolk cream. I can't believe 700,000 people watch this video. I can't believe it. Cream and the white cream together. Then what I do is you want to get some nice cocoa. Cocoa? I like cocoa. Who's cocoa? Cocoa Chanel. And you want to put the cocoa everywhere. Cocoa! It's something that I do, you don't have to do it, but something I like to do is to almost, shake almost some beautiful dark chocolate 
or milk chocolate up to you. I like chocolate in tiramisu, I love it. Underneath, it's so squashed. The thick cream, this wonderful cream, which is my favorite part of the tiramisu, is going to <laughs> make it extremely, extremely creamy. Rani is a cream. Oh, look at, what's wrong with the cream? Uh, Guys, this is not the same cream you made before. The cream you made before was creamy and smooth. This is called lumps. This must be ricotta cheese. He's cheating, guys. This guy is cheating. And you know why I know? I know because I've been reacting to so many videos and I can tell. And you know what happened, I believe? He was recording, the camera battery died. He missed all the part that he was filming. So he said, oh my God, I missed the part. I need to refilm. The shop was closed. So he opened the fridge and found ricotta. And he said, I'm gonna use ricotta instead of mascarpone. Nobody will tell. I did, I can tell, you cheated. So the next time, make sure you check your battery and make sure the battery is charged, okay? This is ricotta, I don't like this. It's beautiful, tiramisu cream. It's not beautiful, you're cheating. What we have now, what we have left to do, not much. We need to spread it. Oh, cow creamy. It's fake ricotta cream. We spread it everywhere. See how nice and thick it is? We just spread it everywhere. Look at the lumps, look at the lumps. If you use fresh eggs, you're not gonna get salmonella. It's important we put... See, it's too dark there. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate. He redid this, he refilmed this, for sure, he did, he must. Important. He's not, last but not least. Because he doesn't have the angle from the camera on the side and from the camera filming the food. He's only got the camera recording him. We're gonna put the cocoa. Now the cocoa, Co it will eventually melt into the cream. But that's not a cream, so it's not gonna melt. Okay, that's one of the reasons why I like to mix, I like to use the egg yolk cream on the top. Because for, for me, I feel like it absorbs the chocolate better than the egg yolk cream. That's why it does this, now we know. Now we know why I use this technique, and I like it. I'm gonna try it, because I think it's a good idea to have the egg yolk uh, cream in the middle and the white on top. So you absorb the chocolate, bravissimo. My advice is make the tiramisu the day before. If you can make it the day before, trust me, you're gonna have such an amazing experience. I agree, I agree, I agree. The day before is the best thing to do. Make the tiramisu the day before and you are not gonna have any problems. You're gonna love it so much, it will be smooth, it will be creamy, and full of flavors. Second day, even better. Third day, it's the best of the best. Fourth day, start to go a little bit down, funny. Fifth day, you have to throw in the bean. But let me tell you, day two, day three, oh, the best. So make sure you finish it on day three. This is how you make a tiramisu. See, you've got the layers over there. You have layers. I, all I'm asking you is, guys, please make it and then you thank me. If you want to thank me, just write a comment below. I'm writing a comment below now. I'm going to thank you, but I'm not going to thank you for the fake ricotta cream, okay? So, guys, what do you think of this video? Did you think you did a good job? The tiramisu looks good. Uh, I didn't like the part where he cheated on us with the ricotta, but well done. You've done a great job. You can do better. So, I recommend you to watch his new video. It's a lot better and the cream it's better. It's also pasteurized. It pasteurized the eggs, just in case. So, write a comment below. Let me know if we should subscribe to this guy, or maybe not. Let me know. But I'm gonna do another reaction video on Vincenzo if you want to. So what Vincenzo's video do I have to react to? Huh? Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video reading. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate.